Well hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part two of our Yorkshire tour. We're still here at Neighbourn Lock mm. and in this video we're going to give you a quick reminder of the caravan park that we're on. And we're going to go on the river bus to York. And of course when we're going to get there we are going to show you all around York. Mm. Plenty to see in this video folks including a strange guy. In fact two strange guys. Stay tuned. Now this site is really convenient for getting into York, either on the bus just outside the gates or on the river bus, which is what we took. And as you can see from the map here, it takes you right from outside of the park at Nabon Lock, right the way along the river, all the way into the centre of York. Right, here we are then, right in the centre of York, down by the River Ouse here. What a lovely day we've had. We got the uh, City River Cruise from the Caravan Park, which is the Nabon Lock Caravan Park, and the cruise boat pulls up there at 9.30 it departs and uh, we've come down to the centre of York so if you're in a motorhome or you don't fancy taking the car into York what a brilliant way it took us an hour and ten minutes to get here and then we've had what five six hours around the city visiting all the uh, major sites so have a little look at the video and have a look at some of the great places we've uh, we've walked around today we're just down by Naburn Lock and it's very tranquil indeed some lovely boats in the distance over there. Some narrow boats and cruisers, and there's one just coming down the river, as you can see. <laughs> well, we're just on board our cruise ship here. Well, I use the term loosely. And we're heading down towards York today for uh, a full day out. This is a return journey. This uh, caravan park over here is called Poplar Farm Caravan Park. It's just a few hundred yards down from Naburn Lock. So welcome aboard. We'll take you with us on our little trip to York. Well, a warm welcome to those of you joining us at Acaster. Welcome aboard the vessel River King. My name is Raffi, I'll be your skipper today. And downstairs, behind the bar, sorting out your drinks and your tickets, you've got one of our trainee skippers, Xander. In the unlikely event of an emergency, the open, reversible, inflatable life raft must be launched manually. But the buoyant apparatus and life rings will float free if required. Downstairs in the saloon, you may note fire extinguishers at the front and the rear. So we're sailing down the River Ouse, ladies and gentlemen, towards York. And there's a, an old churchyard there, a ruined church in the background. But as we scan around, I've no idea what this building is, but it is beautiful. Well, I don't do commentary on this trip, but I like to mention over on our left-hand side, Bishop Fort Palace, residence of the Archbishop of York since the 12th century, although the oldest surviving sections of the current building date back to the 13th century. It's like that gentleman read my mind. So now we know what it is.
if that's you and you recognise your caravan, leave a comment. <laughs> I think this must be the main drag into the uh, Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Kind of recognise it. I'm sure, we've been down here before. Actually, the main drag out. Yeah, it is. So we're coming into the city now. York Castle in the background. So here we are then on the world famous shambles in York. We've been down here a few times on the ghost walks and had a meal down here. Can't be a busy time of the year for the Christmas shop, can it? You don't wait till you're in Yorkshire to have the finest teas, do you? Oh, we've just done breakfast. Helen spotted the potions cauldron. What's this? Basilisk blood. <laughs> you gonna get some? No. No. Yeah. Couple of interesting shops here for York Ghost Merchants. The Shambles Sweet Shop. Take One Gifts. And the one that Helen's gone into, Rowley's Fudge Pantry of York. Thank you.
Well, here it is. Absolutely amazing York Minster. Should just point out that this amazingly large stained glass window, which is the size of a tennis court, might not look it on here, but it is. Uh, you can see individually there are thousands of individual pieces of stained glass in that window. And I'm told that during the war that was dismantled piece by piece and then buried deep in the vaults here at the Minster and then painstakingly put back together again post the war. That's amazing. Well that is the first statue of our late Queen to be erected anywhere. And there it is sitting proud outside York Minster. If tomorrow wasn't such a long time well Helen's made a couple of purchases so far it's a new handbag and some fudge <laughs> now she didn't want me to mention the fudge did you Hel? <laughs> It's too late. It's already mentioned. Plenty of red, white, and blue here. Getting ready for the coronation, I reckon. And there's the old star in York. Told this license in. It was established in 1644. Never too early for Christmas, is it? Okay, it's April. Yeah. We are moving on, aren't we, Hill? We are. We're going to a saint next, which is a little bit of a different one for, for us. But Dave picked this one, so it better be good. Well, it wasn't the site. That's not the reason I chose the site. It was the location that I've chosen. If you want to find out where that is for another uh, session here in Yorkshire, then you'll have to tune in on Thursday mm. at half past four. But I tell you, I think out of everywhere we're going, this is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. It's the location, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Mm. 
So, quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, now's your chance. Just hit the subscribe button, it costs absolutely nothing. Uh, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment, because we answer them all, and that all helps the channel to grow. But until next time... We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.